Hey guys, and welcome to my updated Flooded Valley Black Border Guide. Use code DORIO in the BTD6 store because I guess it would be funny, and you'd be supporting your local neighborhood Oreo. Anyways, let's start by placing a sub right over here. You should be able to see the bottom part of the rain, and it shouldn't be off screen. This placement might feel tough originally, but once you get it once, you'll probably get it consistently. And then to catch some leaks, place a sub right up there. Before round 10, place Azili in such a way that her right arm is inside of that line in the wall. That one right over there. And set her to strong. At some point before round 14, upgrade your bottom sub to Barb Darts and Twin Guns. Buy Air Burst when you can afford it. Buy Triple Guns also when you can afford it. If you die on round 24 to the camo, your Azili placement is wrong. At some point before 33, place a village right over here in such a way that the range touches that bottom stone and goes inside of it a little. Then upgrade your village to Monkey Commerce, and then once, once you can afford it, or before 33, place a spike factory right over here so that the bottom right peg thingy goes inside of the panel, and upgrade it to Smart Spikes and set it to Close. Buy bigger stacks when you can afford it. Before 36, place a beast handler as bottom right as possible next to your spike factory. Upgrade it to horned owl and set the grab point up there. And set your sub to strong. Target it to first if your spike pile gets broken through. Also, if your owl is switching the track, switch the grab point a little so it doesn't do that. The only time you should have to switch your sub to first is on the last wave, where you do actually have to do it or else you just straight up die. So uh, yeah, do that. And then for 37, upgrade your spike factory to white hot spikes. Mid-38, get spiked balls. Before round 40, place an alchemist as bottom right as possible next to your beast handler, and upgrade it to berserker brew. Here I set my spike factory to smart. You can do that if you want, but I recommend just setting it to close. And don't place that wizard just yet, I was just testing to make sure I could fit it there properly. Even these small ones can harm us. Upgrade your village to jungle drums once you can afford it. And then upgrade your alchemist to perishing potions. Don't place this wizard yet. You're better off not placing it until about round 46, where you should be able to afford the necromancer upgrade fully. Buying it now just makes round 43 harder, because it's taking the alk buff from the spiked balls. Before 46, place a wizard as bottom right as possible above your alchemist and upgrade it to necromancer with the top cross path. Get your alk to stronger stim once you can afford it.
use Hex on round 60 because you kind of need it. I'm not sure if you definitely do, but it's a single button press and it makes sure that you will not die no matter what. So just, just use it. Just use it. And then get your wizard to Prince of Darkness the instant you can afford it during 62. At some point soon, place a druid as top right as possible on that stone and upgrade it to ball lightning with the first upgrade of the bottom cross path. Druidic Reach or whatever the hell it's called. Stupid name. From what I know with the strategy, it is possible to get RNG'd on 76 and just die, but it doesn't happen to me here, so sorry if it happens to you. There's nothing you can do about it. Use a Moab Hex on round 80, because you do need that to beat the round from what I know. Just use it at some point during the round. Preferably at the start, because if you use it too late you might just die, and you wouldn't want to do that, would you? On 85, use a hex when the top ZOMG turns right. On 87, use hex off cooldown. For 88, you're also going to want to use hex off cooldown, because if you don't use it off cooldown, there's a good chance you just die and you wouldn't want to do that on round 88 because that would suck. And before 89, you should be able to afford Super Storm. We love Stupid Storm. We love Stupid Storm. And get Heart of Vengeance. And then at some point when you can afford it, place an alchemist right next to your stupid storm and give it stronger stimulant with perishing potions. And now over the next few rounds, place five pop lusts toward the edge of where they're still in the discount range but they can affect the superstorm because you kinda want them to do that don't give them any cross pathing because they're not gonna be doing any damage so the cross pathing doesn't really matter On 94, you're going to want to hex the ZOMGs once the first one turns right. Continue placing those Poplus Druids. They mostly come in handy on 97, 98, and 99. And also this round too, I guess.
you should afford all five pop lusts mid 96. And also in 96, you're going to want to hex the ZOMGs just at some point, I guess. I did it a bit later than you might want to. So you can do the same timing that we've been doing for all the other ones. And then before 97, place a heli right over here in range of no alchemists. Upgrade it to Moab Shove with bigger jets. Lock it in place up there. And once it starts turning, lock it in place back here so it can continue slowing down the fortified ZOMG. And then just like keep it in the metal once it stops shoving the ZOMG previously. Round 97 might take quite a bit because high health stuff and blowback that doesn't do much damage don't go very well together. And now we have reached the almighty round 98. Lock your Moab shove up here. And then just use a hex on the ZOMGs slightly after the first one from the top turns right. If timed right, this should just absolutely destroy the round and there should be basically nothing left. If done wrong, I don't know. You might die, but I can't confirm. And then... I doubt there's any RNG on 99 because stupid storm just blows back the DDTs. And then for round 100, pretty simple. Upgrade Azili to level 20 and use Hex. Boom. <laughs> GG on your Flooded Valley Black Border. I hope this guide could help you out. Have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye. Yeah, I decided to get a creator code because I thought it would be funny. So yeah, code Dorio in the BTD6 shop. Also, I might start doing more monetization stuff because I guess I kind of want to make a little bit of money, but I definitely don't have to.